drop him, Peter. <laughs> but he's my friend. You'll have new friends. <laughs> Better friends. Real friends. Drop him. <laughs> Hey, Mr. McGilligan. Merry Christmas, buddy. We'll open this later. We got another Christmas card, buddy.
Merry Christmas, Mr. McGilligan. It's just you and me, buddy. Come, Peter, let me in. We have business to discuss. What kind of business? Well, what kind do you think? Elf business. Elf? Yes, elf. As in Christmas? As in Santa Claus? Yes. Yes, that's him. And he'll be back. Very soon. Now invite me in. Go away. I will if you choose, but then you shall not hear my offer. Uh, offer? You would be wise to listen. But first, you must invite me in. Will you? This is a night of choices, Peter. Your choices. So, what do you choose? Come in? A wise choice. An excellent choice. Thank you. And so we begin! Peter Bartholomew Brown, just look at you! Have we met? Strictly speaking, no. 
but you may consider me your biggest fan. I, as you plainly see, am an elf, and you may call me Crackbot. Crackbottom? Christopher Crackbottom, official recruitment officer for Santa Claus's elves. <laughs> you sent us this when you were six, I believe. Read it to me, won't you? Dear Santa, I have been good. For Christmas, I want new medicine to help mommy. I want daddy to come home. And, and I would like a friend. Thank you. Peter. A friend. Whenever a child asks us for a friend, we take special note of him. That is someone, our boss says, who bears watching. That is someone with real potential. Potential? For what? Why, to become one of us. To be an elf! What? When Santa read that letter, he opened a case file on you. From then on, it's my job to keep an eye on you, in case you turn out to be real elf material. Well, guess what? You are! <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Where do you think we come from, anyway? Did you ever hear anyone say, then God created elves? No, my friend. We all start off just like you. Lonely, poor, no family, no friends, and no prospects. And very, very human. Here, watch this. Turn on channel 117. 117? I don't even have cable. Tonight you do. Straight from the North Pole. adventure you could possibly imagine. <laughs> a career as one of my elite core of Christmas elves. from every era, every corner of the planet, wherever Christmas is celebrated, we find you, unhappy souls, left untouched by the goodwill of their fellow man, the poor, the lonely, the hopeless, the sad. It is to you, our forsaken ones, that we extend the hand of friendship. <laughs> Our recruitment process is quick and efficient.
Why, you ask? Why me? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Don't I fit in? Stop worrying about it. We can fix it. We've been watching, and we already know what ails you. <laughs> With just a little help from our team of experts, all your pain sadness will disappear in an instant. <laughs> oh, and as an added bonus, you will age so slowly. And it will take centuries <laughs> for you to grow old. <laughs> we have job training programs that are the envy of all the universe. <laughs> In no time at all, you'll learn how to make wonderful new toys to bring joy to children of all ages. <laughs> and as an added bonus, every night the real fun begins as we all gather at the palace of fun and friendship <laughs> to celebrate with all our friends. carefully before you decide. There's no turning back once you sign up. Your recruitment elf is right there, ready to answer any questions and help get you started. <laughs> so, uh, goodbye for now. <laughs> and I hope to see you very soon. <laughs> So there you have it. Quite a bit bitter than what you have right now, isn't it? Some of those elves didn't look all that happy. Oh no, Peter. Just tired. Gets pretty busy up there as the big day approaches. But it's all worth it when you see the kids open their presents. Anyway, as to that letter of yours, it must meet three criteria to become an elf. First, no family. I think we've got that covered. I'm sorry about your mother, by the way, but Santa has no medicine to heal a broken heart. I'm sorry about your mother. As for your father, the man who left you. Finally 
he drank himself to death three weeks after he wrote that letter. And of course, you're single, no offspring, no siblings. You're the last surviving member of your bloodline, Peter. A terminal case, genetically speaking. <laughs> 